Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is open lab video for everyone. Everyone as in if you're taking help desk course, system administration, or you are new to IT and you're just learning some good stuff about IT and how to troubleshoot things. So let's get to the lab. Now before I start this video, since this is going to be on YouTube and some other places, I just want to say that this video is only for these tools and what you can do with it and how it can help you. It is not a comparison between other tools. It is not to say that this is the best way. So just use it for your benefit. So if you think that maybe at one point you could use this tool to help you, great. If not, don't worry about it. There are many, many other tools that we can discuss and you know we cannot put all the time in this video so let's let's get started the first tool that I'm going to show you guys today is the tool that I'm actually uh, using for this whole lab and you can see how easy I am using two computers one is a domain controller one is the server so this could be your first tool and to me I think this is one of the best tools that I've found and I'm not doing any advertisement it's just that I use everything on this tool and it makes my job easier as an IT person because now I can create folders in here and let's say for example you started working as a, as a junior system administrator or maybe a help this guy or anyone uh, so you can create your folders and you can put your put in important desktops uh, servers right here uh, this tool can also do other things so let's go ahead and see how you need to download it this first the first thing you need to do is to go to Google type mobile X term click on download once you click on download they have two uh, version which is free and professional I got the free one in this lab and it tells you what you can do with it and you can read all of that good stuff but I already did that once I downloaded it I extracted this file and then I went to my folder and then I open this folder and then I open mobile external personal sorry so uh, let's open that and you see this is what you will look so it comes with its own local terminal it can come with so many other things so let's go to sessions because this is going to be a good one for you guys so you go to sessions you click on new session here and then what kind of uh, session do you want SSH this is mainly used for like you know routers uh, firewalls uh, things like that tenet again routers usually people are using SSH now other things like RDP VNC FTP SFTP Serial, this is the one, if let's say for example, you get the computer, uh, old computer, uh, or you have a serial cable, uh, usually a lot of console cable, the blue ones, I have some videos that I showed, demonstrated this tool, how to connect a router to this, so you plug that in and you just click here and then it will give you the console of that router. Shell, and it will tell you like you know local shell session right here, uh, browser, so sh sh shell session can be different type of shell in there so if I click on it it tells you what type of shell do you want bash uh, CMD PowerShell Ubuntu so for example if I want CMD which is the same as the one that you use on Windows if I click here and I give it a drive let's say C drive or maybe I don't need to do that it probably automatically pick it up but let's just remove that for now Oops. Well, I guess we did give so what I can do is I can move this and just say C right here and then click OK and now C it's gonna go out and give me the the same CMD that you have in your computer now that's not the only thing like I said you can add more sessions you know the best thing is the the reason I'm sharing this is that it makes your job easy you know you you have a work you can create folders in here and you you can do like you know um, connected routers at the same time uh, you can do um, uh, work on the desktop at the same time so you you see you have multiple sessions that you can open in one window like this it makes your job really easy because you know if you have two servers and you're or two desktops that you're comparing things between two or you're doing a work quickly you don't have to do the whole RDP here logging and then all that stuff it just makes your uh, job easy in that sense so now that was the making job easy but what can you what else can it help you with troubleshooting it can really really help you with some of the troubleshooting that I don't like like for example if I have a server 
and I'm monitoring that server and I need a log from that server every three minutes and I need an output to some kind of file and I keep will I keep doing that of course no I'll go for scripts right but what if I don't want to do scripts and I just want to use this tool you can also do that so let's say for example in a command line so since it's pretty powerful you can do anything in CMD almost everything and PowerShell it gives you PowerShell option 2 in there so if I want to do that and let's say if I want to do IP config and this is an example so and then I want to do after this ping google.com let's think of this mm, five six seven steps and then I get to what I want I'm like oh I'm looking for this specific thing and I want to see this every four hours or three minutes or two minutes um, and I made a you know then I go in there and I say okay you know move this to this file so whatever and I keep doing this imagine if I had to do this uh, every day it's gonna suck right because either I need to create a script for it and if I don't find a good script then I'm just stuck with something of course scripts can help you with a lot of things but again remember that point that we're not talking about scripts here we're just talking about this tool so how can I make things easier on this tool? The best thing that it tools have uh, for your troubleshooting or for your to make your job easy again is macros. So if you click on macros right here, you click on recode new macro, and all I have to do is to type things now correctly. And I do my first step, did that, second step, ping google.com. so I did those five six seven steps right and I'm done with my steps I'm gonna say stop and I'll say you know I'll give it a name let's say this was my logs you know copy logs or copy logs like that and I'm just gonna click OK so now I'm gonna close this and let's say tomorrow I get the same call and I need to do the same thing I come to work I click on CMD and all I have to do is to click on macros right here and copy logs and boom uh, just one click and I can go back get the T and stuff like that and come back but what if you don't even want to do this click I know I'm just being I sound like where when I say like oh what if you don't want to sometimes you kind of come up with something like this because you have so many other things that you're doing that you cannot focus on you know something like this you know this is gonna get you that stress level will go high remember my whole point of my videos are to you want to be an IT person but at the same time you don't want to hate IT so you gotta make do things for your job to you love your IT because you you want to go and learn more things so you gotta come up with these kind of uh, solutions so what can you do other than clicking on macros now you can right click sorry you can go to macros and now you can actually right click on it and you can edit it maybe today you don't want this log for three minutes you want it for four minutes you want it for five minutes then you can come back edit and just change the numbers here and then this will change the timing great now you can also do something else you can give it a hot key what is hot key like with one key click it will start happening so if I click on OK on that and I click F4 see I click F4 and I'm done now keys are important right here very important because you know moving a mouse and clicking here is one thing of course that's easy but if you're not in front of the computer and you want to do this process again and again after three minutes I want it after three minutes like this I'm not even mo moving my mouse look and F4 I'm, I'm going to hit F4 I'm going to hit, hit F4 again after three minutes after three minutes and if this logs that I needed and I had some kind of way to send this to the email then I'll be in dreams right now just get the logs in the email bam oh I know things are great you know everything is working fine if I don't get log I know some issue is going on you know maybe this is not working so the the hot key is important when you have another script or you have another program that is initiating your keyboard you know it's telling you to use this F4 every time this application is open like this use this F4 after three minutes that's it that was just an example of course I don't want to go into too many details of emailing and stuff like we'll do that in courses and in details but today just just kinda know that there are things out there that if you're doing it some manual work then there are tools like this that can help you so remember going back to my first 
uh, in the video that I explained that it might not help someone but it might help you with the thinking that today you saw this video and you're like whoa something like this exists on other tools also on other systems also so whatever you're using I don't know you're using something and you can come up with something like this that you know macros for this or some kind of uh, automation uh, look for auto task uh, there are some there are some scripts that you can make and it will create an exe for you something something like that you know so think about it all these think uh, all these videos that I'm making is to make you think so you can make your job easier other things that it comes with tools of course not the games one um, I'm not interested in the games but you can come back here and you have some other tools like network services and see uh, list what ports are open you can tell right here it will tell you what port ports are open in this uh, system uh, network scanner um, you can actually scan you can click on scan right here and it will start scanning and it tells you right there it found this computer it found this computer it found this computer uh, RDP is open on this computer HTTP is open on this computer gives you some good information right and if you can click on deep scan it's gonna give you more information about computers pretty small tool but uh, can give you some a lot, a lot of stuff network packet capture do you want to uh, display the raw uh, capture data so if I click on yes watch if it's just, it's just gonna go crazy and there you go it's capturing everything that's going on with this computer and network and whatever it can capture right now so you can see you can just click here right click on it and it will stop you can copy the whole information and kind of it's like a Wireshark it's of course not <laughs> not Wireshark Wireshark is too powerful but at least it can give you some information right I mean it's up to you if, if you want to use this or not other thing it can do uh, port scanner so you can basically uh, type an IP address of this machine and see what ports are open in this machine and it will start scanning that uh, another thing that it can do for you uh, is the, the the terminal itself has a lot of features so maybe you're working with a with a, with someone and they want you to ping this address from a production server computer so if you have this as a portable um, software you can just open it uh, and just ping it and do whatever you want to do with it uh, the copying of this is pretty easy uh, so we right click on it and you can see you can copy everything uh, and uh, also save this to like you know a file or something like that now another thing you can do is uh, it can be really good for people that are using uh, routers and um, firewalls because you can also automate the process so for example you have a firewall and you want to see you know um, you want to you have like a few commands that you want to use not in a privilege mode but just to show things so you can actually use that macro stuff for firewall and it will show that it's the same thing uh, but of course I won't recommend putting a password or anything like that because if someone get a hold of this then <laughs> they don't need to know the password so again yeah great tool number one tool this is what you can do with that 